we're just going to end because we have three minutes. Great, so the rest of them are very high level. How would you teach a shoe if you were going to teach a shoe? Well, just basic shoe. Yeah, just yeah, double can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, watch. He's going to teach the next move and he's going to practice for three minutes. He was a uh, high level wrestler, so he'll teach the shoe. Okay? This is how you do it. Teach it step by step. Yeah, so it's a staggered stance with the front leg off step in. And I change my level. That's the most important part. I level change so that my hips are under his hips. And then I step in. Keep, I lead with my head and shoulders, hips under my head and shoulders. Something I can lift and tackle. Okay, got that? Now I'm going to show you my version. And then you can do either. Okay, so we're here. When I'm shooting, look. This leg is going to touch the ground like a, like, a, like a tail. Drag. I'm going to shoot this into him. Okay? Watch again. So it goes, I'm going to distract him. You see how I kind of like run into him, kind of? Yeah. You, you, you smash into the guy. The, the takedown is I'm going to run like a train into him as hard as I can, draping my hands over his, uh, what at this? Yeah. That's the way I learned it. It's really strong. I do have a good shot. It goes like this. Look. Draw. Watch. This is how you find this by yourself. Step. Watch. Drag. Like then look. Watch. And then push. To the side. Would that be right? Yeah. Okay. Here. Here. Look. Okay. Then with the person. We'll go slow. He won't take me down. Anyway, he just goes down. Do it. Boom. Bow. That's good. Then it's my turn. Sorry. Okay, back, back and forth a little bit. Go ahead and practice that slowly. Shamrock. The more advanced you get, the more. And Shamrock. Set. So here's what you do. I couldn't do it. Because I can't think of something to do. When you go like this, and you go like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's like you my move. move call, yeah, my college coach did that. There's a good man. That's a good cool man. We got a good man. Yeah. That'll so mess you up. Right in the middle. Just, yeah. Go right. 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 right there. Yeah. You're so gone. Yeah. So if you want to practice that, it's better. Really yeah. yeah, you just gotta watch your neck. You know? yeah, yeah. When you go sideways, you also get choked. Yeah. It's so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but still, you know that. I never, I never. Yeah, the back leg has to come forward. So if you're in your stand and you're about to attack each other, if one person goes, you step in. Yeah. You already want to be kind of inwards. You already want to be pushed over. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this, this leg the front knee may come down, and then the back leg steps around to the side. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So you can be in. So this is like this. I fake my foot, come to change my level, and then I wrap both legs. Can you step? Yes. 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 Behind. Yeah, too so, high. So okay. yeah. If you go behind the Your knees, shot? it has a real nice. You're not going right there. I learned that from a real, this real great so that shot. Your goal is to get the drill. Yeah, he yeah. said yeah. just yeah. do this. Yeah. Yeah. He said just do this. Drape over. There right? you go. You can do that there. You see how it goes right behind your knee? And if I go like this, look. See, it goes. Through. So you drape right behind your knee and then you drive your right thing. Oh, all right, for sure. Trust me. Yeah, Boom. Sure. You're away. We'll oh, you you yeah. Nice. Right. Put that leg up. Now go towards Chris. Go towards Chris. There you go. Get up towards Chris. Good. Use your head. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Go to the team. So as of right now, Saturdays at 12, we do this. Sundays at 10. Unless you change it. But check with me. There's only so much room I have. Who's showing up? Who's not? Maybe we'll send it to the other room. I don't know. Okay. This is a very particular style, everybody. I recommend you stick around for 10 minutes and watch how I teach the kids. I'm going to teach them Taekwondo, but it's not about that. Okay? It's about a state of mind. I don't see the state of mind. I wasn't a champ. Well, I was a champion in Taekwondo, okay? But I didn't really enjoy it. Why? Because it was just not real to me, okay? It just wasn't real to me. I, I, of course, whatever. But what was very, very real to me, and it still is, and why so many world champions even follow me, martial arts, and talk to me even, is I could break all of them with my mind. That's it. Except my teachers. And I wouldn't even say that. Okay? But everybody else, my mind, I, I would, I'm, I'm ready to go. I mean, that's it. That's why I had so many injuries all the time. I would always find the biggest, the toughest, and I would act like I could beat them, and they would, they would whoop me up. Yeah. But, but, I mean, I'm tough, and that's what I wanted to be. 
The pit bull is not the strongest animal in the world, but it is a tough animal, earns respect. And since I'm not walking around trying to make a living being the toughest man, beating people up, it don't matter, it's just for survival. So the, the philosophy here is very simple. We tune back into nature and realize that there's an instinct of survival in everybody that has been washed down growing up by saying, don't hit, don't do that, don't be too loud, be polite, be a good boy, be a good girl. Now we don't do that, authority, be careful. And so now you're gonna go out and you're gonna defend yourself and you got your mind programmed that if someone's bigger, stronger, louder, badged, it's, we lose power. We don't be stuck when we see that go, oh man, he's a, he's a, and we immediately judge our disadvantage versus the guy. The thing, uh, the thing an animal in the jungle does is it immediately gauges its advantage against the other animal. A cobra will think, okay, I need to, I need to spit. It doesn't think, oh my God, here it comes. It just goes, what's my weapon? And so I know my weapons. And you need to know your weapons. And someone that have a thousand weapons but barely be able to use them and freeze in the battle versus one guy with a knife runs in there and finishes the whole army. Because everybody's like, I don't want to shoot anymore, whatever. So we realize it's a state of mind. We finish it right now with just some push-ups, okay? But more than that, it's not just push-ups. You can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups. I'm gonna put one or two minutes music. This is your time. It's always your time. If we trained every day for two, three hours, you would be so different, you wouldn't even believe that, okay? But we don't have that time. But get on Telegram, we're kind of doing it. Get on, I have these other stuff. This is just, this is what it is, okay? Barely so, enough. what is it? Hell barely enough. Thank you. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'll play the music. We have about a minute or two, and then I'll just say, okay, that's it, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll shake hands. Here's how we do it. I'll show you how we end the class. And then I'll have the kids come in. You bring them in. Yeah. You're going to be assistant instructor. I have to show you guys uh, certain moves. First of all, let's all learn. I messed up my shoe. Let's all learn how to make a fist. Not everybody knows how to make a fist. This is called a half fist. Half fist actually is a technique that we don't know. It's called a half fist, also a pamphlet ball kung fu. Okay, and this is thrown here. Okay, but, but you never see it. Okay, but that's a self defense technique. It's a half a fist. I can't do it with this hand. And it goes into the throat. So if the guy's, you know, chin down, that's when you go half fist or inverted half fist. Inverted half is like an uppercut right into the throat. You know this way. You see that? Into the throat. It goes right under the chin. You, you never hit the head with it. You never hit, this is literally designed to go into the throat and nothing else, right? This is designed to go into the temple and into the eye socket. See that? So we have, our fist can take different, different uh, shapes. Mm -hmm. Let me show you something that's going to blow you away. Ladies, two minutes in the TV office. Okay, hold it this way. Okay, watch. You see this? See this? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Okay. He's not going to hold very wide, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this. Okay, watch. Okay, now watch. Watch out now, Jerry. Now pass that. That's this. Well, it's called a crane fist. Like you see those little pump wings? Yeah. No, that's me. Yeah. I got it all. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not this guy. I'm this guy. Okay, so look. But that's just knowing how to make a fist. Now this could be here. Look, whack. And the jaw is over the temple. And it's so fast because the distance doesn't need to be that much. Look. Okay, but if you move your body, it's over. Yeah. So it could be one of these, come on bro, wow! And then you just, if you want to continue it, you go, <laughs> spin backwards, <laughs> right? Huh? Something's gonna, you're gonna go, uh, uh, we're spinning blade. <laughs> now, it looks cool until you try in the street, and you miss, <laughs> he beats you up, you go to jail, but you can all admire it. Yes. And we know, Damn, I mean, you don't know. When did I paint this somebody? I haven't. But I've painted this, this a lot. Yeah. So, it's like a hammer. It gets us gonna hit. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you two minutes and then we'll watch the kids. You will learn a lot watching the kids. I'm sure. telling you, that is a specialty here. Okay, go ahead. Two minutes, and then I teach them, and then we gotta go, and then I'll be somebody. 